I was sent this hydro feed fertilizer, uh, model number 4720, to give my opinion on it, make this short video. So here goes. Here's everything that you're gonna get in the box. You get the tank itself. It's got two lines coming out. One is marked number one on the left, number two on the right. And then you get this manifold here that's gonna to connect to your water source. So this could be a hose or a hose bib, and you're gonna connect it right there. And then coming out of the top of the tank, line one connects here. It's indicated with a one on the back, right there. And then number two indicates on the back of the manifold right here with a two. So all you have to do when you take it out of the box, just connect these two lines, number one and number two, and you're pretty much there. They also give you a drain plug here. It's a brass ball valve for you to be able to drain your container if you need to and keep it sealed. Uh, one other item that they provide is this little plastic wrench. So if you tighten down your fertilizer cap too tight, you can use this wrench to loosen it or to tighten it. Uh, make a nice airtight seal on that. So this is the tank where you're going to put your fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. If you're going to put a granular fertilizer, you want to put that in there and shake it up and make sure it's all diluted because what's going to happen is the way this works, water pressure is going to push down through the manifold and based on the set point that you choose, lining up with this line here, one all the way through to four, you're going to actually be able to change the flow that comes from this tank and mixes with your output, which this could connect to a sprinkler system or a garden hose or anything that you want to output the mixed water and fertilizer. So you're gonna adjust this set point. They give you a handy guide right here showing you that this system will deliver uh, on number one, nine to 10 ounces per gallon of water that flows through the manifold, all the way up to uh, number four, which is the most conservative, only one to two ounces per gallon. So this little uh, indicator here is helpful. You can look at the back of your fertilizer uh, label and make sure to find out the right amount of ounces per gallon that you want to disperse, and then this will do that for you. So it's very much all automatic after that. Just connect your hoses, put your chemical inside the tank, turn on the water pressure, and then start to spray, and you're going to have that mix based on what you chose for your set point here. You're going to have that mix uh, accordingly through the whole system. Let's get this set up and then show you how it works. We've got our system all hooked up. Got my water inlet here and my water coming out. I'm gonna use this spray head just to spray some of this fertilizer on this grass here. And all I gotta do is just turn on the water pressure. And you can see here on the lines, you've got some pressure building coming in here and then it's coming back through into the manifold and then it's gonna come out when I open up my sprayer. Once everything gets primed, you'll see it start to just flow through there. And the liquid that's in my tank is what's going to be coming out with my spray head at the same uh, distribution that I chose from that set point with the red knob. So that's it. That's how it works. You can see how this would be easily uh, adaptable to things like a soaker hose. You could connect a soca hose there and have it all ready to go. So maybe on a timer that faucet opens up and then you start to spray your chemicals out with your water pressure. Um, you could also have that buried underneath. If you look on the website, it shows how you could have that installed in a box around your sprinkler setup so that your sprinkler automatically distributes this through all your sprinkler heads. Another way to do it as well. Um, this is the two gallon version. I put one gallon of fertilizer fluid in there and that'll be enough for me to just run this through and then get a, um, a good dosage of fertilizer on my lawn. Hey, I hope this uh, video was helpful. Hope this information is useful to you to learn more about this fertilizer sprayer from Chapin. This is the 4720. Hey, I hope this was uh, helpful and have a great day.